Madagascar is home to about half of the world's chameleon species. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring Madagascar, a captivating island nation in the Indian Ocean of the southeastern coast of Africa. Often dubbed the eighth continent due to its unparalleled biodiversity, Madagascar boasts a rich culture that is influenced by Africa, Asia and Europe. Stay till the end to learn more about Madagascar's geography, people, food and history. The island nation of Madagascar is located off the southeastern coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean. Madagascar is the world's fourth largest island and is home to incredible biodiversity and diverse landscapes. Madagascar can be divided into three geographical zones that run north to south along the island. The narrow eastern coastal strip consists of lowland plains and steep cliffs overlooking the Indian Ocean. The central highlands extend down the middle of the island, with mountain peaks, plateaus and valleys. The west side of the island slopes more gradually towards the Mozambique Channel. Madagascar has over 4,800 kilometers of coastline, varying from straight sandy beaches to jagged rocky cliffs. The climate of Madagascar is tropical along the coast, becoming cooler in the high central plateau region. Rainfall patterns vary across the island. The east coast is wet and rainy, while the west and south are drier. Madagascar can be divided into several distinct ecoregions. The east coast rainforests see high rainfall. The central highlands consist of tropical moist forests at higher elevations and dry deciduous forests on the western side. Spiny thickets and succulent woodlands are found in the extreme southern tip. Madagascar has several significant river systems, especially on the eastern side, which receives more rainfall. Major rivers include the Mangoki, Onilahi and Mananara, among others. These rivers flow relatively swiftly through tropical rainforests until reaching the coast. In terms of lakes, Lake Alotra is the largest in Madagascar and contains unique wetland habitats. The island of Madagascar is home to over 29 million people from various ethnic, religious and linguistic backgrounds. The Malagasy people have developed a unique culture and identity over centuries of settlement and foreign influence. There are 18 official ethnic groups in Madagascar, the two largest being the Merina and Betsimisaraka. The Merina people mainly inhabit the central highlands, while the Betsimisaraka are found along the eastern coast. Other major ethnic groups include the Betsileo, Tsimiheti, Sakalava and Antandroi peoples. There are also small populations of Indian, Chinese and European descent across the island. Today, Christianity and Islam are the predominant religions. Approximately 41% of the population identifies as Christian, mainly Protestant, along with some Roman Catholic and Anglican. Another 7% of Malagasy are Sunni Muslim, concentrated on the northwest coast. Many people still practice indigenous spiritual traditions and ancestor veneration as well. The Malagasy language is universally spoken across the island. French and English are also official languages, with French being more widely spoken as a remnant of colonial rule. Most Malagasy people speak the Merina dialect of Malagasy as a common tongue. Arabic and Indian languages like Gujarati are spoken among small immigrant communities. Here are some iconic Malagasy dishes that showcase the tastes and flavors of this country's culinary heritage. This vegetable and rice dish is considered the national food of Madagascar. It consists of vegetables such as collard greens or kale served over a bed of rice, often with soy sauce and onion gravy. It can also be served with meat that is slowly simmered until tender and absorbing the flavors of garlic, onions and herbs. This chicken stew starts with the whole chicken chopped into pieces and slowly simmered with onions, tomatoes and ginger. Green vegetables like bread mafana, similar to spinach, are then added towards the end. The broth takes on rich flavors from the chicken juices and tomatoes. A hearty meat and vegetable stew, Romazava features beef with bread smafana greens and other vegetable ingredients that can vary by region. Onions, tomatoes, peppers, garlic and ginger lend their flavors to the broth. Romazava is highly nutritious and is often served with rice, manioc or cassava. This specialty from the Antandroi region in southern Madagascar features zebu steak served with rice and green vegetables. The zebu meat is grilled over a wood fire, lending a smoky aroma. Onions, garlic, ginger and tomatoes flavor the rice. Herbs like parsley add freshness. Henombi Ritra offers an indulgent Malagasy surf and turf experience. 
Strategically located in the Indian Ocean off the southeastern coast of Africa, Madagascar has been influenced by migration and trade from Africa, Asia, Europe and the Middle East over many centuries. Archaeological evidence indicates that Madagascar was first settled around 200-500 AD by Austronesian peoples from Southeast Asia, likely from Borneo or Indonesia. These first settlers practiced agriculture, introduced the Malagasy language and established coastal trading posts along the island. Arab and Indian traders later visited and influenced coastal settlements between the 7th to 10th centuries AD. Beginning in the early Middle Ages, organized kingdoms emerged across Madagascar. The first centralized kingdom was established around 1200 AD in the Central Highlands by the Vazimba people. The Kingdom of Imerina eventually rose to prominence in the late 16th century under King Andrea Manelo. Antanusi and Betsimisaraka kingdoms also developed along the east coast during this period. The kingdom era saw the construction of hilltop palaces and terraced rice paddies. European powers became increasingly interested in Madagascar in the early 1500s. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to land, attempting a colony in the 1540s. The French established Fort Dauphin in 1642, but later abandoned it. It wasn't until the late 19th century that the French colonized the island after a successful expedition led by Joseph Gallieni from 1895 to 1898. The British had also eyed the island, but ultimately recognized French sovereignty. Madagascar gained independence from French rule in 1960 after decades of nationalist unrest and calls for sovereignty. Democracy was established from 1992 to 2009 until a military coup brought the anti-colonial Ravaloma Nana government to power. Presidential elections were held in 2013 after a political crisis. Today, Madagascar remains a developing nation balancing a diverse heritage from its unique position between Africa and Asia. Madagascar has a developing, largely agriculture-based economy that has suffered from political instability and natural disasters in recent decades. Its GDP is roughly $15 billion according to World Bank data. Agriculture, fishing and forestry are mainstays of the Malagasy economy, employing over 70% of the labor force. Key agricultural exports include coffee, vanilla, cloves, cocoa and sugar. Madagascar is a top global producer of vanilla. Mining production includes nickel, cobalt, gold, uranium and gemstones. Textiles and apparel production is a major manufacturing industry in Madagascar with exports oriented towards the US and European markets. Tourism is a growing service industry focused on the island's wildlife and beaches. Political unrest, corruption and natural disasters pose challenges for economic growth in Madagascar. Severe deforestation and soil erosion is another concern. Lack of infrastructure and connectivity between regions inhibits development. Madagascar has a high poverty rate of 75%. Dependence on imported oil and technology puts pressure on budgets and the exchange rate. Improving education, health and environmental sustainability are areas for continued progress. The island nation of Madagascar has developed a rich and unique culture, reflecting influences from Southeast Asia, Africa, Arabia and Europe. Traditional Malagasy culture places great emphasis on community, ancestry and respect for the natural world. Traditional art in Madagascar includes intricate wood carvings, weaving, pottery and basketry. Many artworks incorporate nature motifs like animals, plants and geomancy symbols. Wood carving traditions like the carvings of the Zafimanari people represent clan ancestors. Malagasy weaving using raffia palm fibers produces the distinctive lamba cloth. Pottery and basket weaving also form important folk art traditions across regions. Oral literature and storytelling are deeply important in Malagasy culture. The kabari is a traditional form of oratory and public speaking used on social occasions. Malagasy proverbs called ohabolana offer wisdom and insights on life. The written tradition emerged in the 19th century. Well-known Malagasy writers include esteemed poet Jean-Joseph Rabe-Rivello and novelist Jacques Rabe-Mananjara. Malagasy architecture includes traditional house designs like the rectangular rova structures made from organic materials. Other notable architectural traditions are the stone houses of the Zafi Maniri people and the unique tombs of the Mahafali people topped with aloe logs. 
Influences of French colonial architecture can be seen in cities like Antananarivo, with buildings bearing neoclassical features. The modern church Amboy Mangarova Palace exemplifies a blend of traditional and colonial designs. If you enjoyed this video on Madagascar, you'll love this next one.